We recently visited the capital of Norway, Oslo, and among the many interesting historical sites, landmarks and things to see, we also had the opportunity to visit the Norwegian Armed Forces Museum located next to the Atersjus Fortress, which is also under the control of the Norwegian Ministry of Defense. Actually, the majority of the buildings in this area belong to the Norwegian Armed Forces. Although the primary focus of the museum is apparently the military history of Norway, it also includes some unique artifacts related to intelligence operations. Welcome to Spy Spots. As you approach the Ministry of Defense's facilities, you will come across the statue of Max Manus, a well-known Norwegian resistance fighter with incredible stories of overt and covert operations targeting the German occupation during the Second World War. And after that, you will find the entrance to the museum. In the Afghanistan exhibition, among others, you will see some of the disguises of special operators and improvised explosive devices used by the insurgent forces. And a pair conducting special reconnaissance using a German EMT Aladdin Recon UAV, a crucial type of military operation for intelligence gathering. And some of the digital cameras that Norwegian Navy special operator thrown under a bullet used in intelligence gathering missions in Afghanistan. Note that there are many more exhibitions in this museum that we're not mentioning since they are unrelated to our content. However, if you like military history, you'll definitely find this a very informative museum. Continuing through the years, we'll find some of the more covert warfare artifacts like this M1911 Type 1913 naval mine, documents, maps and other rare artifacts including this Sweetheart spy radio receiver and this spy radio set. Of course, naval warfare is typically one of the most secretive and it's here where you will find among many other artifacts, mines, torpedoes and a Bruce missile. A communications room mock-up which includes an actual German Enigma M4 cipher machine. The M4 series of the Enigma was used exclusively for secret communications of the German Navy in World War II and more specifically, their submarines that are better known in German as U-Boat or U-Boat in English. Moving downstairs, we have the Cold War exhibition, which has some artifacts related to our content too. Soviet propaganda posters and weapon displays, Or this, a British Slidex. Slidex was a manual cipher system that was used for secret communications. Once again, we want to highlight that these are only a tiny part of everything you can find in this museum. Only the artifacts relate to our channel. Also, it's important to note that the museum and its surrounding buildings are actively used facilities of the Norwegian military so please make sure to check if they are open to the general public before visiting. If you happen to be in Oslo, we highly recommend you to visit this site to learn, experience and understand some of Norway's military history sprinkled with a few spy artifacts that remind us that nothing is as it seems.